What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel if you're a returning subscriber and if it's your first time here, thank you for stopping by. Let's take a quick look at the Air Jordan 1 85 neutral grey. Now this pair dropped I think back in February and I tried on sneakers and got L's but I was lucky enough that a friend of mine hooked me up at retail. So now this is the second pair that I've gotten at retail. The first one being the coat purple 4.0 or 3.0. 3.0 the SBB is going to be a 4.0 but I prefer calling this the metallic purples I wasted enough time let's get into the subject matter right now I don't know what's the logic that Nike or Jordan brand applies while they decide to change the color of the Jordan boxes because you know it's usually black with the red font but this one's flipped over but you've seen this also in all of those fearless packs and also more recently in the ladies joints right yeah the lucky green as well had the same box i think you should be able to see it right there it's right there enough talking about the box mm, the box so as you take the lid off you'll notice that the butter paper is slightly different you have the wings logo you have Jumpman right there as well and the number 23 so this is different from any other jordan one a regular jordan one that you would pick up and it's now further packaged in some wrapping paper now when the reverse breads dropped i really wanted to get the pair not because it was an 85 cut but because i've beaten my breads to the ground and i wanted a worthy alternative i didn't hit on those but the reason i'm mentioning that pair is because they came with dust bags and this pair doesn't now let's unwrap the pair and there you have it the a jordan one neutral gray 85 Man, this is such a beautiful pair. First thing that you'd notice is this retro inspired hang tag, which has of course that iconic MJ shot. And when you open it up, it has details of the materials that have gone into the pair, giving this that very retro, very OG vibe. And why not? I mean, this is as true to the 85 models as they would come. Now let's get into the details of the sneaker. I wonder if it smells like the other Jordans though. Can't not do it, right? Oh, very faint, very faint in comparison to the other Jordans. But yeah, man, it is what it is. First things first, the materials that they've used is a very, very stiff uh, and a smooth leather. It's none of that soft, tumbly ones that, that people look up to, as in they compare it to the shattered backboards, then you had your shadows and all of that. So the leather is nothing like it. It's a very stiff, smooth leather. And from what I understand, that's how the earlier versions back in 85 came out. So all of the panels, you have your perforated toe box and all of the white panels are the same smooth, stiff leather. The gray panels, like the swoosh and this heel area right here are done in suede. And I can't say that it's mind blowing. It's just about all right. The tongue, it has a bit of a bluish tint under certain lights that makes me think of the EU exclusive, the Off-White Jordan 1. The tongue is longer than it usually is on a Jordan 1. And the tongue tab as well has been done a little differently. It's kind of shorter and the detailing is slightly different. The pair doesn't come with a cardboard uh, shoe tree. It has this paper stuffing wonder how they took all of the efforts and then they messed that bit out now the pair comes factory laced with these flat white laces they also have an extra pair of laces let's take a look at the inside you have this nice gray a neutral gray heel lining and then the size with some serial numbers on the inside like you can see right there this is synonymous with the og bread and also with the nigel pair they don't do it on all of the pairs if you know what the serial numbers stand for let me know in the comments below and the insole this time it's done in a polyurethane and it sits quite flush unlike the other jordan ones that you usually get which are ortho light insoles this one sits more flush like you can see around the corners and it has this retro sticker as well on it to give it that og 85 vibes the nike air branding done in gray on an all white insole Something that sticks out to me is that this midsole is really thin. 
if you look at it in comparison with i'm not sure if you guys can tell but you see how the midsole on this is a lot more thinner than on a regular jordan one and it also has this kind of a curve what you'd normally see is a flat midsole but this one has this curve going through and over to the outsole you have that neutral gray outsole which again is ever so slightly narrower than on a regular jordan one one other difference that i've noticed is that the wings logo right here has been embossed as against debossed on your regular jordan ones let's find that alternative pack of laces there you have it the neutral gray extra set i think i'm going to switch over to the neutral gray laces rather than just having it white now i got to tell you that since this leather is kind of stiff it would need some breaking in so the more you wear it i think the more it will smoothen out and last but not the least the details on this midsole you see how the details on this midsole are really popping out so yeah that's different from what you'd see on a regular jordan one you see the details exist but they are a lot more subtler and this one they really really pop all right that's about it i'm going to lace these bad boys on and show you what they look like So yeah, first impressions on fit. It's true to size, although it's narrower. I feel like the pair is slightly, just slightly longer than your regular Jordan one. But I would still recommend you go true to size because the shoe is overall narrow. And even if you have broad feet, uh, your regular Jordan one size is the way to go with this pair as well. I also realized that this pair reminds me of the Dunk High Pure Platinum that I also have. And I remember when I got the Pure Platinums, I was like, maybe I'm gonna keep them both. or maybe this would be like a consolation prize when i don't get the neutral grays but lucky for me i now have both pairs how about you guys let me know if i should keep both or i should maybe flip the dunks i don't know help me decide so anyway thank you for staying on the way to the end i really appreciate it if you guys haven't subscribed yet make sure to do that and give this video a thumbs up and this is a second reminder for you to give this video a thumbs up i'll see you in the next one you guys peace